Now, as you all probably know by now, the Grand Exchange is one of my favorite places in RuneScape. I hang out there all the time, make tons of videos, have multiple video series just on the Grand Exchange. But that said, there is a nefarious side to the area, and it is very easy to get scammed in the Grand Exchange. So today I'm going to be highlighting some of the more prevalent ways that you can lose tons of money to scams in 2022 at the Grand Exchange. Hope you guys find it helpful. If you do, always appreciate a like in the video. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by highlighting one of the more interesting scams. Now that's in quotations, I'm using that kind of loosely. That has popped up kind of recently. And surprisingly, the person doing the scamming here is Jagex. Now, over the last couple of months, uh, a few really interesting images have popped up and gained some traction on Reddit. And in these images, you are seeing items being sold for astronomically cheap prices. For example, six months ago, a Reddit user posted uh, a picture of them selling their Bandos Godsword. And uh, you can see they bought it for 14.7 mil, but lo and behold, they managed to sell it for 15K, losing well over 14.5 uh, mil in the process. And recently, we have an even more egregious example with a player selling their Inquisitor's Maze for 390 GP, losing well over 390 mil. So what exactly is happening here, and how is it possible these items are being sold for so cheap? Well, to start with, this is only possible due to a grievous mistake from the player. The Inquisitor's Maze kind of highlights what exactly happened here. They meant to sell it for 390 mil, but they accidentally sold it for 390 GP. So obviously they made a big typo, but still, with the way the Grand Exchange is usually working, it would fill it with the highest offer on the Grand Exchange at the time, which would almost always be more than 400 GP. Most likely they'd find an offer for 385 mil or something, no issues from that. So is it really possible that absolutely nobody else had an offer on the Grand Exchange for an Inquisitor's Maze except for this one at 400 GP roughly? It's possible, but it's been pretty well confirmed that's not what happened here. Now what actually happened here is the item was actually sunk from the new Grand Exchange tax. Now, as many of you know, last year a GE tax was introduced into the Grand Exchange. On every transaction, they're going to be taking 1%, which you can see even in this image, they did take their 1% of 390 GP, just to rub a little more salt in the wound there. So every transaction, money is coming out of the game, but with some of the money that is removed, Jagex is actually going to be buying items off the Grand Exchange to act as an item sink, which is also meant to help stabilize the price of certain items. Now the way that the Grand Exchange actually picks items to delete from the game is not particularly nuanced. The first has to be enough money in the virtual tax coffer. Assuming there's enough money in the coffer and the daily quota for that item has not been reached, it will purchase the item. Now it's not going to ignore hyper cheap offers like this because why would it? It's actually sinking an item for a very efficient price as far as the system is concerned. It can delete an entire Inquisitor's Mace for only 400 GP. That's great for the system, not so good for this person. Now according to ModAsh, the original design draft for the Grand Exchange Tax actually called for a exception to be made for really low offers under some kind of percentage to be ignored and not be considered for sinking. However, they were actually asked to remove that restriction, presumably because it would sink the item cheaply while giving the player exactly what they asked for. So the way I understand this is the system is not meant to specifically seek out the cheapest offer, but if the stars align, and you get kind of unlucky, you can get absolutely fleeced by the new item sync system. Now, luckily there is a very easy way to avoid this. Simply do not put offers in lower than you are willing to actually sell them for. I mean, you should never really have been doing this, but I think in 2022, the risk is much higher due to the item sync system. Now it is arguable whether the system should work this way. Sure, the player has to take a fair bit of responsibility here, but Mistakes do happen, typos do happen. At the absolute minimum, I think there should be a warning when you put something in drastically below its market value. I think that would be a fair compromise or maybe even changing the system to put in a few exceptions. So there isn't always a very small but looming risk of losing your entire Inquisitor's Maze or Twisted Bow due to the item getting sunk. Now, one of the most prevalent scams has been around for a long time and is still very popular today is what I'm going to call the I hit my buying limit scam. 
Now, when you go to the Grand Exchange, you will occasionally see players talking in public chat, asking people if they can purchase items for them. Now, this is right off the bat, a gigantic red flag. There are very few circumstances where someone requires someone else to buy something for them. It just doesn't really happen that often. The Grand Exchange exists and anyone who wants to buy something legitimately will probably just go on there and buy it themselves. And just as a general rule of thumb, you almost never need to trade people, especially if they're asking something of you. So how does the scam work? Well, the scammer will claim that they have hit the buying limit for a certain item. Normally this item is obscure. I've seen this done with a plethora of different items, uh, rabbit's feet, yeah, I didn't even know that existed, raw bird meat, uh, mine talismans, but pretty much any low volume item will work. So what happens is the scammer in question will slowly acquire a bunch of a certain obscure item and in doing so will drive up the price that is listed for that item on the Grand Exchange. So even if you went ahead and did your due diligence and went and checked how valuable this item is, even then you may not still realize it's a scam. So the scammer will claim that they are buying rabbit's feet for like 10,000 GP each and they're buying 100. The only reason they're not doing it themselves is because they already hit their buying limit. So you go to the Grand Exchange, you check, you can buy rabbit's feet for only 5,000. Wow, what a deal. You go ahead and buy 100 of them. The offer comes through and you go to trade the scammer and well, they log out. So you think that's unfortunate, but well, I guess I'll just go sell these back. Well, you go to try to sell them back in the Grand Exchange and you realize they were never worth 5,000 even to begin with. They're only worth a couple hundred GP each and the scammer just made away with 500K profit and you are stuck holding the bag of rabbit feet. So the scam utilizes price manipulation and some naive players to pretty much scam people through the Grand Exchange. Now the best way to avoid this is simply just to not buy obscure items for other people. There are sometimes legitimately players of the Grand Exchange who have hit buying limits, but they're on very common resource items such as dart tips, battle staffs, stuff like that. Uh, but if you're ever uncertain, just pop on over to GE Tracker or the OSRS Wiki price tracker and just look back a couple months to see if it's actually worth the price the player is claiming. Now one of the oldest scams in RuneScape is something that revolves around the Grand Exchange but is also something I still see quite often in 2022 and that is the Merchant Clan. The Merchant Clan is something that you're most likely not going to fall into easily per se. You're not going to run into someone running a Merchant Clan and immediately lose money at the Grand Exchange but I still think it is one of the biggest scams in the game. The whole idea of a merchant clan is to get a large group of players together to buy out a specific item, which will then increase the price of the item and in theory, everybody profits. The reality of the situation though is most players that participate in merchant clans lose money. The people on the very top who recruits everyone, they will make bank, but everyone else will lose. The reason that this is true is because although they have managed to inflate the price of an item, it's simply all artificial demand, and more specifically demand from players who are within the merchant clan. It is not at all possible for everyone in a merchant clan to make money off an item that has been drastically inflated in price. Now merchant clans can pick from a wide variety of items, usually they're not going to attempt it with a very in market item, like you're not likely to have much of an effect on an item such as an abyssal whip for example, but that's not to say that they can't choose reasonably popular items still. In the end though, the item doesn't really matter. What matters is every single time, the people at the top will have stockpiled whatever item it is in advance, and once they have reached their determined price, they will dump it on their unsuspecting followers. And once the price starts to drop, it will tank right back down to what it was before, which means all the money will be perfectly extracted from all the lower ranking people in the clan, and the scam is complete. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you have any other Grand Exchange scams that you've seen recently, let me know with a comment down below. Always curious to know more. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Now before I go here, I want to give a giant thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. Thank you so much to Nello, Alejandra, The Hybrid, and Kush Patel for all being subscribed to the Dragon tier. Really, I appreciate it so much. Also a giant thank you to Kaiten987, 
Mexos, Base Titch, MDM001, and Yo-Yo Sub89 for being subscribed to the Runite tier. Appreciate you guys as well. As always, if anyone's looking for a direct way to support me, YouTube membership is the best way to do so. You'll get immortalized in all of my future videos, you can get a custom role on my Discord server, and you'll even know when all my videos are coming out. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.